It's Andy Drifter here. I hope you're having yourselves a pleasant Thursday. Got myself a 40-card blaster of 2023 Stadium Club Baseball. There you see the master photo. It is of the captain, Hall of Famer Derek Jeter. Let's begin. And we start off with a future Hall of Famer, Max Scherzer. Zach Wheeler. Chipper Jones, he's in the Hall of Fame. MVP winner, World Series winner, that is a Sebia. Brian Bello. And Cal Raleigh. Cal Raleigh is leading his team in home runs on his way to possibly another 30 home run season. Trevor Story, giving the deuces. Jordan Walker, rookie card, very nice. Austin Riley, Michael Garcia, and we've got Starling Marte. That is a great looking card there. Stan the Man Mutual, 475 career home runs, over 3,000 hits, and of course, a Hall of Famer. James Outman last year had over 20 home runs in his rookie season. This year, he was sent back down to the minors, but now he is back in the Dodgers lineup. Cal Schwarber, that is a red parallel, hitting one of his many home runs. He is among the league leaders in all-time playoff home runs. Max Muncy and Javi Baez. He was getting trolled by his former team, the Cubs, as the Tigers are playing the Cubs right now in a series. And uh, there was a sign with something to the effect of, we miss you, Javi, but not your current batting average. He is batting under the Mendoza line. Hall of Famer Dave Winfield finished with 465 home runs, over 3,000 hits, won many gold gloves, eight or nine gold gloves, World Series winner, and uh, if I didn't say it already, Hall of Famer. Logan Ohapi. Max Freed, Tim Anderson, the curious case of Tim Anderson, who was quite a productive hitter in his early years with the White Sox, made two all-star teams, but at the end of his time uh, with the White Sox, it wasn't going well, had signed a one-year deal with the Marlins, and I believe they have cut him. It wasn't going well this season for him, and uh, who knows, we may have seen the last of Tim Anderson. Tom Seaver. Hall of Famer, World Series winner, Cy Young winner. Vladdy Sr., he's an MVP winner with 449 career home runs. Should have been a first ballot Hall of Famer, but got in on his second try. One of the most exciting players. Here he is, featured with the Expos. Also spent time with the Angels, the Rangers, and the Orioles. Alec Manoa. Got a Mike Yastrzemski here. Perhaps that is uh, an image variant. Francisco Lindor. And 2022 NL MVP Paul Goldschmidt. Ernie Banks. Over 500 home runs. Mr. Cub. And has the unfortunate distinction of playing in the most career games without ever playing in one single playoff game. Chipper Jones, that is a chrome refractor. O'Neill Cruz on his way to a 20 home run season. Wade Boggs won many batting titles during his time with the Red Sox, then went to the Yankees to collect a couple of rings and finished his career with the Rays. And it's in Tampa at Tropicana Field where he is one of three players to have his number retired. That is Javier Assad. Mike Yastrzemski once again. Okay, that was not uh, an image variant. That, I, that card that I pulled a couple packs ago. Lou Gehrig. Three-time MVP winner, World Series winner. Finished his career with 493 home runs. And he is a Hall of Famer. Christian Yelich, a red parallel. He too is an MVP winner. And uh, he is out for the rest of the season. We won't see him till next year. A-Rod, three-time MVP winner, 696 home runs. Started his career with the Mariners, then went to the Rangers, the Yankees, and uh, now he is an announcer. Nolan Gorman. Perhaps he will 
strike out 190, 200 times this year. The batting average is kind of low, but the power numbers are respectable. Final pack. Alec Thomas. Cattell Marte. He was having himself quite a season. I think he had 30 home runs at the time of his injury. I don't know what the status is of his injury, but uh, nonetheless, the D-backs, they continue to roll. Triumvirates, the kid, Ken Griffey Jr. That's a great-looking card there. Cedric Mullins, a couple of years ago, did the 30-30. And uh, since the All-Star break, he has been hitting better. And we finish off with Shane Bieber. That is it for this 2023 Stadium Club Rip. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, be sure to hit like and subscribe. Have yourselves a terrific Thursday. All right. One thing that I missed and one correction. This Max Freed here is a members-only parallel. And uh, it's considered a case hit. Probably worth about five bucks. And uh, I said this Mike Yaz was an image variant. It is a black foil parallel. There you see the difference between the black foil and the base card. Just wanted to point that out. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day.